Hello, I'm Transformers fan G138, and this is my video review of um, tr uh, Bo Transformers BotCon 2010 uh, Generation 2 Breakdown. And right off the bat, he is a nifty, nifty figure. Um, for one, uh, there's an interesting story that goes along with this. Um, the Collectors Club, when they, the, when they, the first BotCon happened. Their first exclusive was a Generation 2 breakdown, the actual Generation 2 version. They they actually painted up, up the Generation 1 version to look like this. And I thought that was really cool when they w revisited it uh, in 2010. They took breakdown and turned them into the Generation 2 breakdown they had originally created. So, I really think that's cool. So that the first, the first ever BotCon exclusive also ended up being the uh, BotCon exclusive in 2010, except in a classics mold. So I really think that was kind of cool. So um, basically, he's pinks and blues, and he's really sharp looking. He's got this nice Generation 2 Decepticon logo. He's got uh, some weird paint apps here. And then he's got the exposed engine, which is always nifty. He's got the words breakdown right on his side. And then you come to the bumper, which is fully painted. Thank you, Botcon. And then it has a license plate that says BCFW94. Simple. Um, this, if you follow it, is very interesting. BC stands for BotCon, FW stands for Fort Worth, and 94 stands for the year. And that was the BotCon that, and location that the exclusive was first, the um, original G2 breakdown was released. BotCon Fort Worth 94. So that, that, that's a really cool little uh, tribute they put there on the, on the license plate. I think that's pretty cool. I love when they do stuff like that. Like, uh, Ratchet says, um, what, what, here he is. Ratchet says H3LPU2. That's, um, a reference to the, uh, she, the, he and Megatron held up when they were fused together in the original Marvel comic books. It said, help us, but it was spelled out with, uh, backwards, E and a backwards S, which, which in this case is substituted with a three and a two, so I think that's really cool. But uh, I'll get into that if I decide to do a review on uh, Ratchet. So for now, um, I really do like that they painted the wheel rims, which they did on the others. Like here, I have a side swipe and a Sun Streaker here to compare with. So they're the same car, of course. Um, Lamborghini style thing. Uh, they didn't paint the side side lights here, but uh, I don't think it needs to because they ended up doing a lot of cool extra details. And I really do like this figure. I think it's really cool. And any of those who are breakdown fans will um, be pleased to know that th at this year's BotCon they did announce a Generation 1 coloring of this mold. So you can actually get a Generation 1 Timelines figure with the Collector's Club this year. So, um, yeah, become a member and purchase that if you're interested. It's pretty awesome. Um, that's not a paid advertisement, by the way. That's just me me uh, trying to recruit for the Transformers Club because more members means more toys, means more exclusives. So, means more money out of my pocket, but still. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it's an overall nice figure. So, I'm going to get this guy in robot mode and talk about him some more. So, the most noticeable difference between this um, robot mode and the... Um, Sideswipe Sunstreaker stuff is the head mod. Um, it's a very box head, which is very interesting because um, the original breakdown combined using his head as the combiner port, and it was very boxy and square, just like this. So 
it works very well in that regards in those regards so um which is why I'm looking forward to the uh, generation one version of this so I can put it in with my classics so um yeah it'll be nice so um yeah I I've combined the uh, exposed engines with the gun so to give them kind of a little bit different look from Sunstreaker and such but um yeah just to get a nice look it's a breakdown on his arms He's got this on his back, which actually looks pretty neat. Um, and he's got this big Decepticon logo here. And then, yeah, he's he is a really nice figure. I really do like him. Um, there's not much I can really say for him other than he's awesome. Um, as far as articulation, um, I th I've already done the articulation in uh, Punch Counter Punch, so I'm not going to spend too much time on it. But uh, he's got ball and socket joint here with a hinge built in there. He's got a hinged knee, which is also double hinged here, so you can get some pretty cool po um, positions. Positions. <laughs> so um, he's got a ball and socket joint hip. Uh, he does have a waist swivel, so that's nice. Um, he's got a double jointed uh, elbow. He's got a swivel hand. Ball and socket joint. Uh, shoulder and bone socket joint head which is actually looks really nice so and it's way more appropriate size that this head rather than the um, punch counter punch head as you can see here is still way too small I think this easily has double the surface area that this does but, um, you know, still not bad. Still worth the 80 bucks I paid for him. This guy, completely worth the money. If you if you can find this guy, I would say shell out whatever price you can find him at. Because he's just amazing. Although, if you're a Generation 1 fan, you might want to wait until the... Um, Generation 1 color of this guy comes out. Um, so if you have any, that, that pretty much concludes my video review on the 2010 BotCon box set exclusive breakdown, Generation 2 breakdown. So um, if you have any further requests for reviews, please post down in the uh, comment box below and I will add them to him or she or them to the list. And yep, I think that's that covers it. Um, so... If you have any further questions about this figure at all, also post in the comment comments and I will answer them. And um, yeah, that, that does conclude my video review, so thanks for watching.